tell you you are welcome how to solve for x plus y in this system of equation here let this be equation one and this be equation two then from equation one we have x square minus y square equals to 40 and from here when we apply the difference of two squares here the same thing as x plus y then into bracket x minus y equals to 40. The next step from here, let's square both sides of this equation. Here we have everything squared and also we square this side. That is from what we have here. This square will affect each of these brackets from when we have a b raised to power n which can be written as a to power n times b raised to power n. Then here, this becomes x plus y squared, then times x minus y squared, then equals to 40 squared from here. Then from what we have here, we can expand this. And the expansion here, same thing as x square plus y square plus 2xy. Let's put this in bracket and also open bracket. Expansion here as well becomes x square plus y square minus 2xy close bracket equals to 40 squared from here. Then, from what we have here now, let's represent x squared plus y squared the letter. So let p be equals to x squared plus y squared. And also let q be equals to 2xy. Then we can rewrite this equation shortly as p plus q into bracket then open bracket p minus q then equals to 40 squared and when we reverse the perfect square difference of two square this same thing as p square minus q square then equals to 40 squared that is P here, which is x square plus y square, then squared, then minus q here, which is 2xy squared, then equals to 40 squared from here. And then here, this square will affect 2 and xy. Let's still leave this as x square plus y square or square then minus here we have two square then x y squared then equals to 40 squared from here that is from what we have here in equation 2 x y is same thing as 99 then what, let's bring it here then here we have x square plus y squared or squared then minus two square here that's two times two which is four then times 99 squared equals to 40 squared that is from here also, we have 99 square as 99 times 99, which is 9801. So we have x square plus y square here, all square, then minus 4 times 9801. Now equals to 40 square, that's 40 times 40, which is 1600. That is here 
also we have this as x square plus y squared all squared then minus 4 times 9801 that gives us 3000 that gives us 39204 year which is equals to 1600 then let's bring minus 39204 to that side become plus then then we have x square plus y square all squared then equals to 1600 plus 39204 which implies we have x square plus y square all squared then equals to here becomes 40,804 and from here to remove this square here let's square both let the square root on both sides then the square root on this side here square cancel square root and we have x square plus y square then equals to here become plus or minus 2 or 2 from here then now since you are finding x plus y when we expand this as this x plus y all squared the expansion here is same thing as x square plus y square plus 2xy that is here now we have x plus y all squared equals to x square plus y square is same thing as plus or minus 2 around 2 then plus 2 times x y from equation 2 that's 99 then when we solve for that this same thing as x plus y all squared then equals to we can write 2 times 99 first which is 198 now then we have plus or minus 2 around 2 here then from what we have now we can separate it into two aspects that is the first one we have x plus y all square equals to 198 plus 202 then the second one we have x plus y all squared equals to 198 minus 2 and 2 that is from here this is x plus y all squared equals to the sum here give us 400 then to get this x plus y now take the square root on both sides square root here square cancel square root so x plus y here is now equals to plus or minus 20 so that means we have x plus y equals to 20 and x plus y equals to minus 20 and also on this side we have x plus y all squared give us minus 4 from here now when we take the square root on both sides as well Take the square root here, also take the square root here, square can square root here, then we have x plus y equals to plus or minus root 4 times root minus 1. Then it implies we have x plus y is equals to plus or minus root 4, that's 2, root minus 1, that's i. So we have also two values here. The first one x plus y equals to 2y and the second one x plus y equals to minus 2y so we have two complex solutions here and two real solutions here so this here are the solution to this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more videos turn on the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up and see you next class bye for now